Magandang araw, mga grade 10. Ito si Crisanto o Domingo, teacher ng Badipa National High School. Ngayon, pag-aaralan natin kung paano mag-divide ng polynomials gamit ang long division at synthetic division. Firstly, we discuss long division. Before that, let us try to define polynomials. Polynomials in one variable are algebraic expressions that consist of terms in the form ax raised to n where n is a whole number and a is a real number called the coefficient of the term. It is of the form yeah, p of x is equal to a sub n x raised to n plus a sub n minus 1 plus x raised to n minus 1 plus a sub n minus 2 x raised to n minus 2 plus our ellipses here plus a sub 1x plus a sub 0. And then a sub n should not be equal to 0, this one. The coefficient of the leading term. So the degree of the polynomial in one variable is the largest exponent in the polynomial. So yung pinakamataas na exponent, guys, is the degree of the given polynomial. The terms of a polynomial may be written in any order. However, it is more conventional to write it in standard form. That is, in descending powers of x, pababa yung exponent. So, here are some examples of polynomials in standard form with their corresponding degrees. So, we have p of x is equal to x raised to 6 minus 2x raised to 4 plus 7x cubed plus 5x squared minus 3x plus 8. So, this is of degree 6. And then we have f of x equal to negative 5x raised to 4 plus 7x cubed minus x squared plus 3x minus 10. So we have here degree 4. Now, how do we divide polynomials? So ang pag-divide ng polynomials, guys, is the same as dividing whole numbers when you were in the lower grades. Yun nga lang ngayon, para nag-level up kasi meron ng... Uh, kasamang mga variables. Now, in dividing polynomials, the law of exponents and the distributive property are applied. So, yung pinag-aralan nyo noon about law of exponents, that is, we subtract if we divide exponents and then we add if we multiply and then the distributive property, that is, it is multiplied to all the terms inside the parentheses. So, these are applied in dividing polynomials. For example, divide 2x cubed minus 3x squared minus 10x plus 3 by x minus 2. So, step 1. We write the given division problem in the form the dividend is divided by the divisor like this one. With the terms of the divisor and the dividend, in descending powers of the variable. So, 2x cubed minus 3x squared minus 10x plus 3 under the division symbol divided by x minus 2. Next step. So, we divide the first term of the dividend by the first term of the divisor to get the first term of the quotient. So, ito po, si 2x cubed divided by x. So, we divide that. And then, makukuha natin yung quotient using... The law of exponents, so we have 2x squared. And then, sabi niya, multiply this quotient by the terms in the divisor. So, 2x squared times x is the, equal to 2x cubed. And then, 2x squared times negative 2, we have negative 4x. Step 3. So, we subtract the product, this one, in step 2 from the dividend. So, 2x cubed minus 2x cubed, we have 0, and then negative 3x squared, minus negative 4x squared. So, magiging positive si 4x squared. Kaya, negative 3x squared plus 4x squared is x squared. And then, we bring down negative 10x. So, ulitin natin yung steps 1, 2, 3. With the difference obtained in step 3 as the new dividend, eto yun, guys, x squared minus 10. Again, i-divide na naman natin si x squared minus 10 kay first term divisor kay x. 
So x squared divided by x is x and then we multiply it using distributive property. We now have x squared minus 2x. Again, subtracting it, we have negative 10x plus 2x. We have negative 8x and then we bring down 1. So, sabi niya, continue this process until the degree of the remainder, this one, 8, negative 8x plus 3, is less than the degree of the divisor x minus 2. So, again, si negative 8x, i-divide natin ng x. So, we have negative 8 in the quotient. And then, i-multiply natin isa-isa. So, we have negative 8 times x, we have negative 8x. Negative 8 times negative 2 is positive 16. So, again, we subtract. So, negative 8x minus minus 8x, so that is 0. And then, 3 minus 16 is negative 13. So, our quotient now is 2x squared plus x minus 8. So, ito yung dividend natin kanina. And then, we have here a remainder, negative 13. So, yan ang steps in dividing polynomials using long division. Step 5. So, isusulat natin yung result in the form dividend divided by divisor is equal to the quotient plus the remainder divided by the divisor if there is a remainder. So, kanina yung dividend natin, 2x cubed minus 3x squared minus 10x plus 3 divided by x minus 2. So, the quotient is 2x squared plus x minus 8. And our remainder is negative 13, kaya nagkaroon dito ng minus 13 all over x minus 2. So, yan guys yung steps in dividing polynomials. Now, let's have the first activity. So, the direction is divide 2x raised to 4 plus 3x squared minus 4x minus 16 by x plus 2. Following the five steps given above. So, i-divide natin si 2x raised to 4 plus 3x cubed minus 4x minus 16 by x plus 2 gamit yung limang steps na pinag-aaralan natin. Now, step 1. So, i-rewrite natin siya in the form divisor dividing the dividend under the division symbol. So, we have 2x raised to 4 plus 3x cubed, plus 0x squared, minus 4x, minus 16, divided by x plus 2. So, lalagyan natin ng 0x squared doon dahil in dividing, we must always remember to insert 0 for the missing term. So, kung titignan nyo kasi yung polynomial natin, 2x raised to 4, plus 3x cubed, minus 4x ka agad, nawawala yung term na may x squared. That's why we inserted 0. So, remember this, guys. Kapag may nawawalang term, you insert 0. Step 2. So, kagaya yung kanina, we divide the first term of the dividend by the first term of the divisor. And then, we multiply this quotient na nakuha natin sa lahat ng terms dun sa divisor. And then, isusulat natin sa ibaba ng dividend natin. So, we have 2x raised to 4 divided by x. We have 2x cubed and then distributive property. 2x cubed times x, we have 2x raised to 4. 2x cubed times 2 is we have 4x cubed. And then, we subtract the product obtained in step 2. So, 3x cubed. Minus 4x squared is negative 4x squared. And then we bring down the 0x squared, the missing term kanina. And then, step 4. So, ulitin natin yung steps 1, 2, 3. With the difference obtained in step 3 is our new dividend. And then we continue this until the degree of the remainder is less than the degree of the divisor. So, negative x cubed divided by x is negative x squared. And then distributive property Negative x squared times x, negative x cubed. Negative x squared times positive 2 is negative 2x squared. And then we subtract. So, 0 and then 0x squared minus 2x squared is negative negative. So, we became positive. We bring down negative 4x. So, remember, inuulit lang natin yung proseso. 
So again, si 2x squared, i-divide natin kay x, so we have here 2x. Again, applying distributive property, we have 2x squared here, and then 2x times 2 is we have 4x. So, subtracting again, itong nauna dito, na term na na-obtain natin kanina, naging 0 na, so here we have negative 4x minus positive 4x, so naging negative na pareho, we add it, we have negative 8x. We bring down negative 16. So again, negative 8x divided by x is negative 8. Negative 8 times x is negative 8x. Negative 8 times positive 2 is negative 16. So subtracting, so na negative 8x minus minus naging positive, that is 0. Negative 16 minus minus 16 naging positive then so we have 0. So wala tayong remainder dito. So, in step 5, we write the result in the form dividend all over divisor is equal to the quotient plus remainder all over the divisor. So, we have 2x raised to 4 plus 3x cubed minus 4x minus 16 divided by x plus 2 is equal to 2x cubed minus x squared plus 2x minus 8. So, wala tayong remainder. So, thank you and stay tuned for the next virtual instruction on synthetic division.